In this video, what I want to show you is a trick that I think honestly has potential to be a really big game changer uh, in Lumion. There are some problems with this right now, unfortunately. I'm going to show you what the issue is. Um, so the reason why I have to use, for the purpose of this video, a 4K panoramic video um, is because right now you can only import videos that are 50 megabytes long in Illumion. Now, you might be able to make this work uh, with what you want to do, but that actually makes it so you can only really have like a six second video and that's at 4K. Um, if you were able to bump this up to a gigabyte even, that would make it so that you could actually import 8K uh, HDRI videos so that you wouldn't have, if you were looking out a window in a exterior, uh, you wouldn't have to use any real nature or anything like that. You could, you know, fly a drone up if you're going to be doing an actual uh, interior for a client. You fly the drone up, um, make the panorama, the, the video, uh, if you have the drone to do that, and then basically just put that video in your background in Lumion. So you'll have the trees blowing, you'll have cars driving by, uh, <laughs> cars driving by as I say that, but the uh, it'll just offer you what I think is a much faster render time. Well, I haven't been able to test this. I do think that it will go a lot faster. So uh, as I said, technically, this doesn't work as well as I want it to right now, but I do really think that it has the potential to be one of the biggest tricks that you can do in Lumion. So I'll show you quickly how to uh, set it up. Now, um, if you want to know how to bring an HDRI into um, into SketchUp or like Blender, or sorry, into Lumion, uh, I do have a couple other videos that I'll put up above here. Um, but for now, I actually have an unwrapped sphere that you can get right off the 3D warehouse. Um, and I think if you go back to one of, like, one of the videos, I think I actually had a FBX file uh, that you can import as well. So if you come here and type in uh, HDRI into SketchUp, uh, any of these work. These are all ones that I got off of uh, HDRI Haven, and then I just put onto a, a sphere. So we'll just use like the lakeside. Uh, I'll download it right in the model. And I will just zip out to make sure that worked. Okay, perfect. So then I'm going to save this. I'm going to go over just to HRI again. Uh, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to open up Lumion. Um, now I will be putting the video that I'm about to show you up onto uh, Google Drive so you can test this as well. Um, I had trouble finding a video that actually had a lot of, I guess, like moving trees and things like that under 50 megabytes. So I did have to make my own, but there's not as much moving, like not as much movement as I'd actually like to show. But uh, for the purpose of this, I think it'll work. So we'll just make a plane quickly. And we'll just import the HDRI. I've already, I did this a few times just to make sure it worked, but um, yeah, so it, it comes in like this. Now, if you use the SketchUp one as opposed to the Blender one, you get something that looks like this. Uh, you're going to click on the outside. I just had to make it glass so you could see it well in SketchUp, but we're just going to go to the material and we're going to make this invisible. And then what I also like to do with this one is, oh, I got to go back inside for a second, but um, go to the weather and I put the sun position all the way up. And maybe just turn the brightness up a little. Uh, actually, turn it down a little bit because we are going to be making this emissive just so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, so we will go to standard. And then I'm going to find where I saved my um, where I saved my video. Um, now I'm going to turn the gloss all the way down and I'm going to turn the emissiveness up just till it's about about point one. That that should be good enough just because I did take this on a uh, on a pretty sunny day. So if we look back here, we can kind of see that obviously like I'm moving a little bit. Uh, you know, the the uh, the uh, the actual photography could have been a little bit better, but as you can see here, so there are waves moving and as long as you have the, the sphere unwrapped properly, then a panoramic video should come in no problem. Um, I took this on a Ricoh 300 degree theta, I think. So um, it, it can only go up to 4K for this one. 
but uh, if you were able to get your hands on an 8K camera and then Lumion makes it so that you can uh, upload basically any file size you want, because I, I think the reason why they originally made it so that it's 50 megabytes, maybe there's limitations on the software, but I'm assuming that it's just so that people don't make really big files. Um, and so it doesn't bog down your files. But I think that that actually is now becoming more of a burden because if you could just have a crystal clear background looking out the window, then you don't need uh, to put real nature in. You don't need to put any water in. You don't need to put any materials in, which materials actually use a lot more uh, of your computer power than you'd think. And, you know, you wouldn't have to set up the rocks. So even if it took you a couple hours to drive to this spot, take the drone shot and drive back, you'd actually still probably spend less time doing this. So um, this is something that I put for feedback into the uh, into the Lumion devs, just because if, if there is a way that we can just start using uh, panoramic HDRIs in Blender, um, that would be uh, pretty incredible. Now, this was a MP4 file. So I think that's the only kind of file that you can uh, bring into Blender. Let me double check that quickly, actually, just to make sure. Yeah, so it's an MP4 file. I'm pretty sure that is the only one that comes into Lumion, not Blender. Been using too many uh, too many softwares lately, holy shit. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, hopefully I'll have a better example to kind of show, but I think that if we just kind of zoom right in here, um, hopefully you can kind of see this on YouTube, but the waves are moving. So if you could get something that was like 30 seconds long, and then maybe you played around with it in like Premiere, um, then you could kind of loop it so that the trees and everything are moving like fluidly and there's no like, I guess, sudden stop when the, the clip comes to an end. And if you could do that, then if you're doing interiors especially, or even just like maybe a particular scene, um, you can just match exactly what the location would be if you needed to, or just kind of have generic ones to bring in. So hopefully uh, you guys found this to be an interesting video. Um, it, it is kind of disappointing that you can only do 50 megabytes right now because I, I, I do think that if they ever uh, remove that cap, then this could be one of the best tricks for Lumion. And honestly, it could change kind of the direction of the software because it, uh, it would speed render times up even more, I believe, even if it would make your file size bigger. So um, yeah, thanks a lot for stopping by, guys. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to be releasing about a video a day this week, and I think that they're all pretty cool. So if you are subscribed already, thank you very much. And uh, I will see you in the next one.